Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. Over the past year, Xiaomi has come out with a million different phones with Redmi 9 in the name. Okay, maybe more like 19, but who is counting anyway? But let's forget about those other phones for a second and turn our attention to the Redmi Note 9T. Redmi 9T. What makes this one special? Time to go over its key features and find out. The Redmi 9T is an entry-level phone, but even so, like most Xiaomi devices, it aims to provide a bunch of value for the money. And despite its name, it's almost exactly the same as the Xiaomi Mate Poco M3. There are just a couple of differences. For one, the looks. The Redmi 9T has a frame and back made from plastic, yet it still looks snazzy with a glossy metallic finish. There is a wavy, fingerprint-like texture on the back too, which feels nice and adds some extra grip. On top of that, there's even splash proofing on the 9T, which you won't find on the Poco. It isn't IP rated, but it's nice to have in inclement weather, especially at this price. The other major difference you'd find here compared to the Poco M3 is in the camera setup, since the Redmi 9T has an ultra wide. Overall, you get four cameras, a 48 megapixel quad Bayer main cam with phase detection autofocus, that eight megapixel ultra wide cam, a two megapixel macro camera, and a depth sensor. This means that the camera experience here will be a bit more versatile than on the Poco, but the rest of the features I'm going to go over are pretty much the same. The phone's display is a 6.53 inch IPS LCD protected by Gorilla Glass 3. There's a 1080p resolution and a dot drop notch for the 8 megapixel selfie cam. The resolution is kind of a breath of fresh air compared to other entry level phones which offer just 720p. Another feature which you wouldn't expect for the money is a pair of stereo speakers, which should offer loud and full sound. And there's a traditional headphone jack too, with FM radio support. Yet another nice feature you get is a Snapdragon chipset, a Snapdragon 662 to be exact. Based on what we've seen on the Poco, performance here should be okay, nothing spectacular. But still, at least in benchmark tests, we'd expect the Redmi 9T to outperform a lot of competitors. On top of that, we've got a huge 6,000 mAh battery too. The Poco M3 had some of the best battery life we'd seen on a phone yet, and we expect the Redmi 9T to be right up there as well. There's also support for 18W fast charging, and you can use the 22.5W charger that comes in the box. But still, with such a big battery, don't expect it to top up that fast. The Redmi 9T has expandable storage through a dedicated microSD slot, on top of the 64 or 128 gigs built in. And waking up and unlocking the phone is done with a side-mounted fingerprint reader. It's fast and super accurate. Finally, the interface. It's Xiaomi's MIUI 12 based on Android 10, and is quite familiar if you've seen a recent Xiaomi phone. You can split the notification shade into a notification center and a control center. And there's support for an app drawer to store your apps in, and it will automatically sort them into categories. And since this is Xiaomi, you have an IR blaster which allows you to use the phone to control certain appliances with. So there you have it guys. The Redmi 9T looks like a solid budget device that offers way more than you'd expect for the money. Thing is, you get almost the same for even cheaper with the Poco M3. So really it boils down to whether you want that ultra wide camera or not. Let us know what you guys think down below, and I'll see you soon with our full review.